you were in a sort of career field that when everything works great, nobody knows about us because they don't see us. And then when things break, everybody knows us because things are broken. So kind of the idea is we do our job well and stay under the radar. So RAW stands for Radar Airfield Weather Systems. It's just an acronym to combine the entire scope of what our career field handles. RAWS has their hands in a lot of different things that stretch across a lot of different a lot of different shops. So we personally affect tons of different shops and sometimes people don't quite understand the scope of what the RAWS shop does. One thing that I really enjoy about being in the RAWS career field is it's very hands-on and nothing is ever a simple fix. We have, you know, the odd jobs where it's just, oh, I just need to reset this. But then there's always something that's just never the same. You're always having to troubleshoot. It's stressful, but it keeps you busy. OSS, you know, we're the ones that are the, the first hand in the flying mission. If without the OSS, you don't have air traffic control, you don't have weather, anything like that. We're basically the handyman for the OSS, so they're like, you know, the ones that are really important and, you know, aircraft taking off and landing, and we're right behind them, supporting them in whatever they need. My name is Daniela Rubio. I'm an A1C, and my duty title is in ROS Technician. We basically work on anything that talks, controls, or lands an aircraft. If there's an airfield, we're right there next to it. I like to think of us as the backbone of the air operation, so if the equipment's not working, you can't be flying. But I'm actually really thankful for the opportunity to get to be known as a Ross technician. We do a lot of cool stuff, and for the most part, I feel like nobody really knows us because we're in the back, like, in the back side of everything. But if you get familiar with our job, you might some find something interesting, and hopefully you'll see us down the line and be like, hey, these guys fixed our equipment, or they work with us. They're pretty cool. So. I'm Tech Sergeant Sean Johnson from uh, Radar Airfield Weather Systems, NCOIC. Uh, I am originally from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Ooh, Lake Neath is high speed, let me tell you. Work-wise, it's, it's been nonstop since I got here. Landed in June last year and immediately rolled into upgrading all of our uh, air-to-ground radios uh, to keep making sure that DASR is operational. And it's three shifts over the course of 24 hours, but there's zero laps in coverage during from day to day. Uh, including weekends and then when you have projects that have to go on which you have to allocate bodies for I'm like my guys are keeping this what do I do you're always busy and there's an opportunity to learn uh, and there's an impact which you see and you hear every day it's great since Shaw this is second fire base I've been to and it's been a while since I've been able to hear you know, the war of jet engines and the attitude is different too it's uh, the work attitude is you know Let's work, let's get these things done, let's meld as a team, and that's the main thing for me. My guys are great team workers. They're the Air Force, but I feel like they're, they're my family, you know. Uh, they go out and they get things done. Preventive maintenance on one of our radios that we usually work on, it's every 720 days. And the reason why it's important to have those radios done is because we want to make sure they're in working order and working condition. That way, when we do ground air communications. There's nothing wrong or any interference with that radio. We just spent an hour with our radar, airfield, and weather systems airmen doing a one-hour function check on the CM300 radio. And it was, sir, it was incredible to see, one, the subject matter expertise, but also the attention to detail that they do every single day to make sure our systems are precise. And moreover, we learned that they have these radios less than two months in their inventory, and they found an Air Force level fix to fix an issue with the relay yes. to make sure that we have cleaner comms. I agree, Chief. Today's time with Roz reminded me of how involved they are with everything that we do in our mission, whether it be secure the base, 
generate combat air power, are ready to deploy and fight from home. From a secure the base perspective, they are deeply involved in making sure that all the equipment for our counter SUAS capabilities are ready to go. For generating combat air power, whether pilots and air crew are talking on the radio or RAPCON and tower, or when it comes to coming back from a mission in bad weather and using the ILS or other precision instrumentation to get the aircraft safely on the ground, they are involved in that and of course ever ready to deploy and fight from home. Very impressed and was really impressed with Airman John Lee.